Hey guys, Iceface here and today we're playing Valor Legends once again. Now in today's video guys, we're going to be talking about the hero that will carry you through the early game, endless trial, campaign, and to be honest, he's good in arena too. It's going to be none other than Terence, the deadly hunter. So he's a forest assassin, he's obviously got the agility gear. His skills are the deadly cyclotron, and he's going to wave his blades and deal up to two, or deal 720% of attack. Times of dodging damage increased to eight times, as you can see, within five seconds. So this is at max, as you can see, level three. So Terence uses elf darts to attack the enemy with the highest attack, dealing 67% of attack damage every 0.5 seconds. Every 0 0.5 seconds for 3 seconds. Right? And is going to restore HP by 25% as you can see. And then we've got Gift for Hunting. And this is going to increase his attack by 25% and damage reduction by 15%. And then we've got Hunts to Hunter's Intuition. When Terence's HP is below 30% grants him a shield equal to 10% of his max HP and restores his HP by 10% of his max HP. And this triggers only once. And then uh, you can see level 3 shield strength is increased to 25% of max HP. Health restoration is increased to 25% of max HP. Attack is increased to 15%. Attack speed is increased to 15%. He is a very versatile assassin. In the early game especially he deals uber high damage. You can use him as a tank. You can use him to tank the assassins in the back line. And you can just use him for raw damage. The exclusive weapon for Terence is Blade of the Broken Wind. This is a pretty decent exclusive weapon to have. You can increase the number of dodges for Deadly Cyclotron level 3 to 10 times. As we read before, it is not quite 10 times yet. And the description is from a mysterious human craftsman. No less skilled than the dwarves of Gale City. Terence cherished it dearly. So this is Sharpshooter, as you can see. It's going to raise the defense, and then we've got that dodges. So realistically, it's making him more tanky, increasing his dodge. The survivability is going to go up with this. This is the equipment I've been using for Terence. Not the best either. Like, this is nowhere near the best. Obviously, we can get the Forest Faction Agility Gear, which we don't have. Runes. The Sight Rune is very important for Terence. As you can see, this is a new one that I'm upgrading, and I just got Healing Effect. So, I mean, which isn't bad, considering his skills heal. So, we're going to increase that by 8.8%, which is actually pretty nice. And, of course... After casting energy skills, he's going to gain 140 energy every time he casts an energy skill, which is pretty cool. And then we've got energy gathering rune. We've got attack and block on it, which isn't bad because it's got the max attack and the max block, so it's quite nice. And as you can see, increase attack by, it goes up to 22% each time when casting energy skill. Effect can be stacked for two stacks. These are the best runes, I believe, on him. Uh, if you wanted another one, I can go into my forge and show you. So I've seen some people use the Salvation, because this is actually going to help him with his healing. So it can be quite handy. Um, we've got a, an orange one here. As you can see, this is what an orange Salvation rune does. But they are the sorts of runes I'd use. I'd definitely go for an energy gathering and to sight. It's good for PvP. It's good for PvE. It's definitely something that you want to be using on Terence. Now, in terms of how we set up for Terence. What I'm trying to explain to you guys is, if you didn't realise. As you can see here, I got him at the front. He is taking the aggro of these two enemy heroes. And, of course, he's helping Ramiel deal a lot more damage something you can do with Terence that makes him even stronger is you put a, Marg a Margaret in and you put her restoration skill so the resurrection on Terence 
And I'm just going to give you a little display of what happens when we use this on Terence. Now, this is a high level in the endless trial, so there's no guarantee that you know I'm going to win it. And you're not going to be able to see Terence properly because the fight might be short because we lose really quickly. You know, you've got to play around with it a little bit, but I'm not in the early game anymore. So you never really know, but. Just watch this one as a little bonus. So it was a pretty close fight. There's some little adjustments we can make to make that win the battle. But Terence, I'm using him here as a tank. But we can also take him out of the tank situation. And just put him in as the raw damage. I want to move him up there. And this time you might be able to see him do some more skills. But he's definitely one of the more recommended assassins to get, especially in the forest faction early on. He's super, super strong. I definitely recommend picking yourself up a Terence if you have the ability to do so. Now, some methods that people use <coughs> is they use their seeds early on in the Holy Fountain of Life. Of course, they use them in the where is it forest faction and then when you get your forest hero custom chest you just go ahead and select terence as you can see these are the different stages of terence what he looks like and this is of course the max weapon this is the stats it's going to give you plus 26.3 percent hp plus 15 percent attack and plus 9.8 percent accuracy i would go as far to say to you all that Terence is like a cheat code. Um, he's going to help you progress really, really quickly, especially in the campaign. As you can see, I'm at stage 34, 35. If we're looking at the leaderboards, I am the highest. I did progress really, really quickly. You know, once I started using Terence, once I heard about Terence is when I've started to boom up in the ranks. Um, obviously, spending goes alongside that. But even as a non-spender, if you can grab a Terence and get him up, he's going to carry you in this game of Valor Legends. I don't want to make this video too long, guys. So we are going to end it pretty shortly. But for just before we do, I want to show you what I do in Arena. So this is the formation I run in Arena. I've got Lionel at the back. I've got Terence at the front with the skill. So the front liners are going to be dragged over to where Terence is. So nine times out of ten, if they've got assassins at the back and they jump on my Lionel, Terence is going to jump over to Lionel in turn, dragging the enemy's tanks over here, creating a big murder pit for Celia to deal mega damage. And to be honest, it works quite nicely. Um, obviously, I'm a bit more overpowered than the other guys right now but eventually when they catch up i'm sure we'll be able to do some more thorough testing with these sorts of things and i use terence in the advanced arena in this formation i've got him at the back but i'm going to go ahead and swap it around and do a similar sort of formation to what we've been doing but we're going to set it up more like this this is our team two, if you was wondering. And this is team three. I might actually swap this a little bit. We'll leave it like that. So yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. A good overview on Terence. He is definitely a hero that you want to be pushing for, especially early game. I hope you have enjoyed today's video, guys. If you have, do go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We post tons and tons of Valor Legends content guides tips tricks and as well as gameplay guild war season 4 is coming up soon guys so yeah that being said i will see you all next time